Protesters on a Washington street taking up the long struggle of poor indigenous Ecuadorians pitted against one of the world's oil giants. Hey, hey, what do we say? Chevron, it is time to pay. It's a tangled case stemming from the contamination of land and water in the Lago Agrio oil field in Ecuador's Amazon jungle. Look, see, you just have to move the earth a bit and the crude is still here, even though Chevron said it cleaned it up. Almost 20 years ago, the indigenous residents sued Chevron, whose former subsidiary Texaco operated the field along with an Ecuadorian partner. But since then, the case has been mired in both U.S. and Ecuadorian courts. Along the way, Chevron produced videos allegedly showing an Ecuadorian judge discussing bribes to rule in the plaintiff's favor. They counter that the tapes were faked. And a year ago, another Ecuadorian court awarded $18 billion to the residents, a judgment supported by the government. But Chevron is challenging the ruling, arguing it's based on fraud. Its appeal both in Ecuador's highest court and also in The Hague before a UN-recognized private court of arbitration. The company says the denial of justice and due process in Ecuador has forced Chevron to seek alternative relief outside of the country. Last week, that tribunal issued a temporary order to prevent Ecuador from enforcing its court decision against Chevron. At a protest in Washington, the indigenous Ecuadorians and their supporters called the tribunal weighed against the plaintiffs. We believe this tribunal is just for protecting commercial investments. Chevron is guilty, and now it's looking for any way not to pay, the same strategy they've always used. Idea. It's a pressure tactic. It's a strong-arm pressure tactic against the Republic of Ecuador trying to sort of force them on the Chevron side in this case, when, when actually the Republic of Ecuador is just providing the court system. To... But Chevron argues that Ecuador's government is bound by international treaty to honor the tribunal's decision. Whatever the final legal outcome, those who still live in the old oil fields will continue to deal with the consequences of the damage to their home. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.